Welcome back to Telltale Batman, the final episode, episode 5, City of Light. The battle for control of Gotham intensifies, reaching a fevered pitch as Bruce discovered a renewed sense of purpose and Batman finds himself pushed to the limits in a desperate effort to restore order. So the last time when we left off, basically everything was, it's just like this picture right here, everything was in complete chaos. And we will see how Batman can resolve this. Frankly, I'm not sure if he can do it in time because we only have an hour or so. But we'll see what happens. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Veils killed? I never said he killed the Veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. Selena, I think you should get out of Gotham. It's not just Harvey. The children of Arkham are after you. It's not safe right now. Maybe you're right. What did you do? I destroyed Lady Arkham's drugs. The innocent people were a small price to pay. Ah! Ah! Oh, you psycho! Oh. No, you can do whatever you want to me. But Lady Arkham's plans are already in motion. Oh, my house. I chose to go back to the office and I neglected my house. And now Harvey's had it burnt down. Wonderful. The city is still reeling from an explosion Mayor Harvey Dent set off that obliterated an entire city block and killed innocents. When questioned about his extreme measures, Mayor Dent said he'll use any force necessary to take down the children of Arkham. Isn't he being basically a murderer? You're done, Gordon! Give up your badge and we'll let you live! Meanwhile, his opponents are routinely silenced. The latest to speak out is Police Commissioner Grogan. He called Dent a murderer and a terrorist and mm -hmm. demanded his immediate resignation. In response, Dent's enforcers attempted to arrest Grogan, sparking violence inside the precinct. These are dark days in Gotham. Our mayor promised us a better city, but delivers only more violence. How long do we let this two-face stay in power? How long can we... Whoa. Hey, excuse me, you can't be in here. Wait, hey, you can't do this! Shut hey, up. let me go! Hey, hey, stop! Time's up! You should have known better, Gordon! Now we nail your tongue to the precinct door by order of City Hall! Just try me. You punks. <laughs> oh! Oh, I thought I was playing as Gordon. <laughs> We don't have time for this, seriously. We still got the children of Arkham, but now we're fighting our own guys. Just in time, Batman. Ugh. Mayor Dent's lost his goddamn mind. His enforcers have overrun the city. Apparently, our new mayor doesn't care much for dissent. He's ordered a purge of every honest cop we have left. Which isn't many. Dent is a maniac, and he needs to be stopped before he tears this city apart. Eh, don't let me get in your way. Come on, the commissioner's still down there. Ugh. 
Oh, is that what we're doing? Sure you're up for this. I have to be. Oh my god. This is so Follow my lead. This is not even the children of Arkham. We're fighting police. Something is terribly wrong about that. Whoa! In the lobby, the commissioner. He killed them. They can't hold out much longer. Stop gun violence, says the poster in the back. I feel like knowing the future position that Gordon will take, the fate of this commissioner here is kind of set in stone already. Because I do believe that Gordon's future title is Commissioner Gordon. People are out for blood. Oh. Now you regret? Died fighting a cop. The commissioner, is he? God damn it. No. Not you two. He died a hero, giving his life for Gotham. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Now this. This is not your fault. It's a bastard, Dents. Krogan was a good man. A family man. Lieutenant Gordon! Gordon! Come in! S Sergeant Kelly! Report! It's the mayor! At Wayne Manor! He's got hostages. And what? He's killing them one by one until Bruce Wayne shows. He says. He says. <sighs> cops show up, he'll kill another. Batman shows up, he'll kill them all. Kelly, get out of Sir, there! Sir, I'm. I'll let the coin decide. Kelly! Kelly! Damn it! Ooh. Get yourself to a hospital, Lieutenant. Can we really call this guy a mayor anymore? Oh my god. Killing the children of Arkham is one thing. Now you're just taking random Alfred, hostages. Are you safe? Yes, I'm barricaded in the Batcave. I heard gunshots, but then Harvey's men disabled the cameras. I have to face Harvey as Bruce Wayne. Otherwise, he'll just keep killing people. Perhaps going as Bruce could be an advantage. Even without the suit, you're a formidable... The guy who stole his girlfriend? I'm not so sure about that. I know the old Harvey is still in there somewhere. If anyone can reach him, it's you. I'll be standing by if you need me. It's time to end this, Harvey. Once and for all. I want a safer Gotham. A Gotham where working people can raise their families. Without fear of being robbed or stabbed or, or worse. I just... I know I can make the city better. If only I... Okay, I'll back you. <laughs> Come on, Bruce. That joke is in poor taste. I'm serious, Harvey. I'll fund your campaign completely. I've lived in Gotham my whole life. And I've never seen an official I can believe in. Until you. Oh, thank you, Bruce. I, I... I promise I will not let you down. Mm -mm, never even crossed my mind. The only real question is, this election or next? We'll let the coin decide. Oh. 
Wow. Hmm. Lucky. But someone has to die. <laughs> Are you volunteering, Deborah? Harvey! Wayne! About damn time! Snipers, two of them. Get the drones online. I'll see what I can do. I wasn't sure you'd come. I throw you at Arkham, burn down your home, and nothing. Appeal to him. I came to help my friend, Harvey. I don't want your help. I want you dead! That is the sickness talking. And I know you're in there somewhere, Harvey. <laughs> Wait. What am I saying? I've tried to fight it, Bruce, but I can't. Bruce, I only ever wanted to help Gotham. And now look at me. I can't stop him. He's stronger than I am. You gotta try. I've known you a long time, Harvey. You are stronger than your demons. I could always count on your friendship, Bruce. Until what happened with <laughs> Selina. This city needs to be purged of people like you. All of you! Traitors. <laughs> terrorists. Cops? who don't take their mayor's oh. orders! Harvey, don't! This is the only way to clean up this cesspool! Oh, no. Oh, my God. That's the mayor. No, please! <laughs> This is what happens to people who cross me, Wayne. You were the fiercest DA the city ever had. Someone who fought for people's dreams. So much for a safer Gotham. Don't say it like that. You're right. This isn't me. Go. Go, get away. I would let them all go, but... <laughs> It's not up to me. <laughs> Deborah, my not so faithful assistant. You've been feeding my enemies info since the start! <laughs> I swear Back I did. Beg all you want, but it's not up to me. Your life, his life, even my life. Uh, they all hinge on chance. <laughs> mm, I didn't do on it. The flip. Of a silver dollar. You're weak, Harvey. Letting a coin make your decisions. It's not weakness, Wayne. Two-Face. It's strength. To accept there's something bigger than me. Bigger than any of us. That almost sounds religious. It's your lucky day, Deborah. <laughs> Wouldn't it be so suspicious? Clearly Batman's gadgets. Back. Oh God, please don't. Harvey, no more. No more? I'm just getting started. This is the only way to keep people in line. Harvey, no! This is not who you are. You once said you wanted a better Gotham. Is this what you had in mind? Oh, I wanted so much for this city, Bruce, but I failed. We were good friends once, Bruce. I'm glad you're here. At the end. No. Maybe you can remember me the way I was before. Before him. Oh, it's... Bruce, I need I need the result. Oh no. Drop the damn coin. Without the coin, I can't I I can't Make your own call. Bruce, please, I don't, I don't know what to... I can't decide. It's too much. It's too much. I can't... A safer Gotham, Harvey. Just like you want it. On some level, I feel bad for Harvey, but his other personality murdered a lot of people. 
It's all over for me. You should have let me pull the trigger. You've done me and all of Gotham a favor. It's what I deserve. I still have hope for you, Harvey. You'll have the best doctors. Yeah. Sure, Bruce. They can't stop him. No one can stop him. Doesn't wipe away his crimes. But we can give it a go. We just elected a new mayor, too. Mr. Wayne. I... I owe you so much. You're a hero. And I'm gonna make sure all of Gotham knows it. Oh! You should be rotting in Arkham! <laughs> Lady Arkham hasn't forgotten you. Everything you love will burn. Hmm. They all work for her. How did she even rally them behind her? Just by being an Arkham? Can anyone stop Lady Arkham? Your usual tea and the entire pantry, I'm afraid, didn't survive the fire. Oh, this no. is from my own personal supply. Thanks, Alfred. We're not the only ones that took a hit while Mayor Dent was in power. Well, at least you've ensured Harvey won't be hurting anyone else. Bruce, these last few weeks, I worry about the toll they've taken on you. Facing off against Harvey and Oswald in a matter of days. Not just the physical toll. Those were men you once trusted. And after finding out what you did about your father, people must seem a great disappointment to you. It's been a rough week. Always letting you down. Even those whom you admire. Well, not all people. You've never disappointed me, Alfred. But I have. When you lied about my parents. Everything that happened, I could have stopped it if I'd done something all those years ago. This, this is my fault. All of it. I told you I wanted to leave your father's employ. But if only I had the guts to do something instead. Your mother, she wanted that. Wanted to put an end to his crimes. If I'd helped her... If I'd stopped Thomas, none of these horrors would have occurred. Lady Arkham, Oswald, even Harvey. Whose fault it is doesn't matter, Alfred. What does is that we stop them. You're right, sir. The children of Arkham are still out there, and Lady Arkham. With both Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board, she's the only remaining piece. We need to figure out her next move. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my CEO access restored, I can finally log into Wayne Enterprises and see exactly what Oswald was doing during his time in charge. If I cross-reference that with all the data we have on Vicky Vale, we might be able to figure out the children of Arkham's next move. Hmm. So we got the file here, but I guess we should take a look at the feed. The codex? We'll skim it a little bit. Yep, the manor is in ruins, yet Alfred is untouched. The man is indestructible, like all butlers. Harvey's campaign ends not with a bang, but with a whimper. The friend I thought could work a miracle in the mayor's office wound up a victim himself. Like I said before, I do feel bad for Harvey. 
but it really does bring into the question of if someone commits a crime while they are ill how much can how much of it can you really attribute to the person themselves and to not attribute any degree of it to the person seems almost unfair but at the same time it's not really technically their fault selena she's out of gotham i guess she's not coming back maybe she'll show up later there's not really that many people on my side that can um that have my fighting skills Oswald! Let's go for now. The next commissioner, James Gordon, maybe? Yeah. Someone has to step up to lead the police. Vicky, Vicky, Vicky. Now that our top lieutenant is out of the way, Oswald, there's nothing to stand between me and putting a stop to Victoria's plans once and for all. But where is she? What is she planning next? There's a clock ticking right now, and I need to figure out what she's doing, and fast. Yeah, there's a lot of random little pieces here. Lucius. Oh, same thing. Children of the Arkham leader. Victoria Arkham. We haven't seen her speak in a while now so I don't really know what she's thinking anymore the last time we saw her it was at that press con man I still can't believe they just randomly dropped the bomb like that John Doe hey I wonder if Joker's gonna come back and he should right because of the favor thing I didn't say I would do a favor for him but if it suits my needs I might still do it The very idea of owing him anything is not a pleasant thought. You got that right. He did help us though, but it wasn't really because he wanted to help us. It was more like he wanted to see a good show. Peter Grogan. He saved me, but it cost him his life. Vale family. That kid is gonna have to live with so much trauma from now on. My goodness. Okay, I think that's it. Dozens feared dead in massive police offense. Offensive. Late last night, downtown Gotham shook from a massive firebomb detonated by Mayor Harvey Dent's special enforcement unit as a plan of as a part of an assault on the children of Arkham stronghold. Thirty dead at least. Yeah, we saw well, we were there, so we don't really need to read this. The sound of the explosion was heard up to three miles away. 30 people dead. The mayor killed 30 people in an explosion and then executed someone in my house. Seized my house? Or tried to anyway. Still. <sighs> what is Two-Face even thinking? Is he just out for revenge? He can't keep his spot if he just randomly kills people. Wayne Enterprises CEO Cobblepot arrested, as he should be. Cobblepot had been using company resources to help the children of Arkham. Surprise, surprise! And now he's gone. No longer CEO, but what about... What about me? Am I CEO? Have they, have they not picked yet? Commissioner murdered. This guy seemed to be a good guy too, but there's not... Uh, unfortunately, there's really not that many of them in the police force. Good thing we still have Gordon left. Okay. CEO login or look at Lady Arkham file. Vicky Vale, mid-30s, reporter for the Gotham Gazette, and not in the public record. Her true name, Victoria Arkham. To think she was here in the manor. She gave nothing away of her true nature then. Mm-hmm. Vicky embraced this identity to follow through on her twisted crusade. Her mask inspires fear. Not unlike Batman. Are you on my side I or just not? I need to find her. 
Why would you say that, Alfred? Oh my goodness. The children of Arkham. Their symbol dates back much farther than their terrorist activity. They formed to get justice for those wronged at Arkham Asylum. But the message fell on deaf ears. Until they found a leader Gotham couldn't ignore. The Gazette's records are the articles written by Vicki Vale. This record isn't complete. You're right. There are notable gaps between entries. But yet, it doesn't seem she ever left the Gazette's employ. So what was she doing in that time? This record wouldn't be huh. easy to alter. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. Hmm. That seems to be it. Home. Your administrative access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. Let's Already? See what Oswald was doing while he sat in my chair. Master Cobblepot's sense of humor hasn't changed much since you were boys. Can we just see what he was doing? <laughs> ah, what? Is that Comic Sans? Really? Oh my god. Okay, surveillance, real estate, financial report records. Penguin was tapping into surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. Wow. How is that any different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? That's not... unless... Hold on. Oh! Oswald was... <laughs> was trying to buy an island. <laughs> what on earth for? Looks like he was using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place. Like it's some kind of tourist attraction. He was going to call it Falcone Island. Uh, okay. <laughs> Alfred's face! We need to figure out Lady Arkham's next move. Of course. Humorous, but no time to stop. Oh. Oswald certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. You have a few yachts to return, it appears. Also oh explains my God. how the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. Oswald was using Wayne money to arm them. Yeah, I want to have a word with the board. That This is the guy you voted in. You kicked me out. The person whose name is in the freaking name of the company. And this guy, this guy's been buying yachts. Great job, guys. Oswald altered several public records using the Wayne network. Mm. He has files on me. Well, no surprise here. Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records. His background is completely fabricated. He was enrolled at Cambridge? Ridiculous. <laughs> Calm down, Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. Oswald manipulated my records as well. Oh. It would appear your degree was in sociology. <laughs> and my medical records. There are some, well, but colorful diseases. Annoying, but not hard to fix. Uh, oh, <laughs> that's better. Oh. All mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham, is completely gone. Wait, 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 what's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell oh? what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. One the bad computer can decode. What is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? Hmm. Wrong one. What do we have here? They did more than just look at these schematics. Every building in Gotham with the Wayne Tech security system can be accessed from here and remotely controlled. If Oswald was the brawn, Vicky is the brains. So let's check her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for. You wanna go back in here? 
I don't see anything here. Um, <laughs> Cobblepot Enterprise. Okay. Now that we know how Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer should be able to... There. No more holes. What was she doing? Patient files. She was looking into Arkham patients. Reviewing records, checking submissions, prior histories. She was trying to figure out who was actually sick. And what? who was committed because of Hill, Falcone, and my father. Oh. Vicky was digging deep. Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, post to conspiracy forums, all to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. We're onto something. Vicky wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. But without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. Speaking of... Is it Lady Arkham? No, it's one of Lucius's prototypes. On the move. What? What? But Lucius locked everything away. Well, he needed a better lock. Oh. Nah. She stole from you? <laughs> After all that you two... Alfred. Yeah, I know, Bruce, but... Why would she do this? Is she that cold-hearted? That selfish? She must have her reasons. Well, I'm sure she does. Computer visual. The prototype she stole. It's an electronic skeleton key. With it, you could bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. That key is far too dangerous in Miss Kyle's hands, especially with Lady Arkham still at large. Get the car ready, Alfred. And Alfred, let Lucius know what's happened. I'm going to get some answers from Selina. I guess she's not out of town after all. Well, that's probably good for us. We get to see her again.